production about our program, um, our collaboration between Rutgers uh, New Brunswick and Rutgers Camden. Um, as Bill mentioned, uh, we are both uh, professors uh, at Rutgers. Uh, Bill is at uh, uh, Rutgers Camden and I'm at Rutgers New Brunswick. The, um, in terms of, you know, just kind of give you a quick overview. Uh, Man, I know you mentioned trying to figure out where everything is. Uh, this is just a quick little um, map about uh, where New Brunswick is relative to Camden, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, the, uh, the whole idea behind this collaboration is to provide more opportunities for uh, graduate training at the master's level uh, throughout the Southern New Jersey area or South Jersey area. Um, in terms of um, brief little history of uh, Rutgers, Rutgers has, has actually been around for quite some time, over 250 years old, uh, started in 1766. Um, I'm not going to spend you know, much time on, about Rutgers, but you can obviously learn a lot more on the website about the university itself. Um, in terms of uh, our master's program, uh, right now we're focusing primarily on applied behavior analysis. Uh, and so in case you're um, not familiar with applied behavior analysis, uh, I, I describe it as using behavioral science to systematically improve meaningful behaviors across a variety of different populations and settings. And the goal is to improve useful behaviors and to de decrease harmful behaviors. So our profession um, you know, within the field of ABA, uh, we, we refer to ourselves as behavior analysts. Um, and as behavior analysts, there is a certification, the Board Certified Behavior Analyst, or BCBA, uh, that is the uh, probably the most common cert uh, certificate within our field, uh, and the certificate that is required by most employers throughout the country. Uh, just to give you a quick little idea about the requirements for certification, the um, uh, uh, there are multiple levels of certification. Uh, the one that our graduate program, our MAT program, fulfills uh, the requirements for is the BCBA, the Board Certified Behavior Analyst, um, and that is a graduate level certification. So you have to have a master's degree or higher uh, to be eligible uh, to receive that BCBA certification. Um, as you can see here, um, the, uh, the number of certificates has been growing tremendously, particularly over the last 10 years or so. Um, and so um, right, right now, there are about uh, over 44,000 certificates. Actually, it's probably higher now because these data are from 2020. Um, and so every year, there is an increasing number of BCBA certificates. Um, and that is in large part because of the demand for uh, uh, qualified individuals. Um, there are a lot of companies that are hiring uh, BCBAs there. All right, so obviously, you know, the goal of getting a master's degree is oftentimes getting a, a nice job. Um, and so in terms of looking at the demand for behavior analysts, uh, over the last 11 years, so a little bit over a decade, the demand for behavior analysts holding that BCBA certification has increased over 4,000%. So when I talk about the demand, I'm talking about the number of companies that are looking to hire board certified behavior analysts there. Uh, from the period from uh, 2019 to 2020, uh, there's been a 17% increase there. So every year there's an increase in the number of a percentage of jobs for number of jobs uh, looking for BCBAs there. So it's a great time to be a behavior analyst. Um, in terms of you know, just kind of looking at the number of job postings from year to year, you'll see that the last year in which they had data, there were almost 34,000 job postings throughout the country uh, for BCBAs there. So there is a huge need uh, for BCBAs, uh, not only in New Jersey, but throughout the country as well. Um, and so this will give you an idea of where the jobs are. Um, and so you'll see uh, the darker the colors are, uh, the more jobs that they have uh, looking for uh, behavior analysts for BCBAs. Uh, you'll see that in uh, New Jersey, there, uh, in 2020, there were a little bit over a thousand job openings uh, that year. Uh, the, the, the most, I think, popular areas for behavior analysts would be states like California, Texas, Florida, and Massachusetts. Uh, but obviously in New Jersey, there's a really strong demand for behavior analysts as well. Um, and this kind of breaks it down according to, I think this is the top 15 states. Um, and you'll see that New Jersey is uh, right there uh, among the, the top number of states, or the, the states with the highest number of job openings for behavior analysts. Um, obviously, salary is a very important consideration. Uh, these data are, are a little old now. Uh, I think these were from 2015. 
uh, you'll see that the uh, the median is uh, right um, at about uh, 50 to 75,000, which is right what, what I see now. Um, I tell my students that they should expect you know, probably about 60 to 65,000 to start. Um, and then obviously that depends on geographic regions. So that more expensive states like New Jersey and California, you should expect a higher starting salary, uh, whereas uh, less expensive states like Missouri, for example, the starting salary probably won't be as high. Uh, the other interesting thing is that it's still a, a pretty young profession. Uh, so you know, this demand and this growth has really been within the last 10 years. Um, and you see that in terms of the years of work experience, um, you know, people are, are relatively new uh, to this field probably shifted a little bit, you know, given that these data are from 2015, but it's a relatively young workforce um, within the field of behavior analysis there. Um, and looking at ABA training at Rutgers, uh, we uh, there's actually, um, uh, at Rutgers New Brunswick in the Graduate School of Applied Professional Psychology, we have multiple programs. Um, the one that we're gonna focus on is, is obviously our Master of Applied Psychology or our MAP program. Uh, it requires, it's a 42 credit uh, program that's uh, completed over two years. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of the difference between our uh, math, different master's program, uh, they, uh, all, they both uh, provide excellent clinical training. Uh, the, uh, one of the differences is that our MAP program uh, places an emphasis on both ABA coursework as, as well as psychology coursework. Um, and then our uh, MABA program, which is a different program, uh, not a part of our discussion today, also provides an emphasis on research. Uh, so just to kind of give you an, uh, a description of this collaboration between Rutgers, New Brunswick, and Camden, um, all of the ABA courses are taught by uh, GAZAP or New Brunswick faculty. Um, the psychology courses are taught by Rutgers Camden faculty. And all of our courses uh, eventually will, will be taught on the Camden campus. Um, and so initially our ABA courses will be hybrid. So we're trying to figure there'll be some type of remote instruction uh, with an option to come up to the New Brunswick campus for on-campus instruction. Uh, but the psychology courses taught by Camden faculty will be taught on the Camden campus there. Uh, the MAP degree, the actual Master of Applied Psychology degree, will be from Gazette at Rutgers University, New Brunswick. So even though it's a collaboration between Camden and New Brunswick, uh, the degree will come from uh, Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Uh, to give you an idea of um, you know, how we fit into uh, helping meet those uh, requirements for that certification, um, these are what's required. Uh, you need to have a graduate degree. You have to have coursework in ABA. Uh, and you have to have a, you have to have a supervised field work. Uh, once you've completed those three things, the, you sit for the exam, and once you pass that exam, you receive that certification. And again, that certification is very important because most of the uh, companies looking for uh, uh, new behavior analysts are looking for BCBAs. Um, our graduate uh, program, our MAP program, will offer that graduate degree. Will also offer the coursework, uh, but what we don't uh, guarantee is the uh, supervised field work uh, because that requires a minimum of 1,500 to 2,000 hours. Um, and so um, uh, we can't guarantee their students will finish those hours by the time they graduate with their master's degree. Uh, we have lots of students who have finished those hours, but then we also have students who will finish those hours after they've graduated there. Um, in terms of that field work placement, we don't place students, although we will help them find uh, placements um, and then we, we'll, we'll be able to help them find placements in South Jersey because there are a lot of providers in South Jersey that are very excited about this program. Oh, sorry. Uh, so why consider Rutgers? Uh, I think one of the primary factors is our outstanding fa uh, faculty. So if we look at our ABA faculty, we have some of the leading experts in their respective areas. So looking at, uh, you know, for example, very uh, challenging behaviors exhibited by individuals with autism, uh, skill acquisition, uh, pediatric feeding disorders, uh, we have a great mix of uh, senior faculty as well as early career faculty who have become the experts in those respective areas there. Um, I think the other um, area of emphasis is also the, op the clinical opportunities as well as research opportunities. Um, in, in New Brunswick, we've got lots of ABA programs uh, that students have the opportunity to participate in, uh, but then we also have lots of collaborations and, and partnerships with uh, non-Rutgers-based uh, clinical sites uh, uh, also down in New Jersey, as, uh, Southern New Jersey as well. Um, that you, uh, gives the opportunities for our students to have uh, really exceptional clinical training there. And that's my quick little introduction. 
Uh, this is my email address. So if you have questions about the MAP program, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, Dr. Whitlow is you know, obviously more than happy to answer any questions about the uh, Camden campus and, and that.